On December 2, Genesis will unveil its Vision Gran Turismo concept, which will be featured in the seventh installment of the video game franchise for players worldwide to enjoy. While the new teaser remains cryptic, it strongly suggests that the concept may closely resemble, if not be identical to, a previously hinted design from 2022. The Vision Gran Turismo is a program where OEMs partner with the video game developer Polyphony Digital to create bespoke concepts. Most of the time, these digital concepts don't go anywhere beyond the realm of ones and zeros. Other times though, they signal the design language that a brand is about to employ on production cars. In rare instances, they actually signal a real-world car that ends up going on sale. What comes from this new Genesis Vision Gran Turismo concept isn't known but if the teasers are anything to go on, it doesn't look like something that the Koreans could actually build and sell. The new preview video from Polyphony Digital barely shows the car as it drives alone on an empty racetrack. What little we can see seems closely tied to another Genesis concept. Back in 2022, Gran Turismo and Genesis got together for an event where designers John Krasteski and Samir Sadikov spoke about the brand. At that event, they specifically said that Genesis was in its initial relationship with Gran Turismo and that there was more to come. They also showed off a short video with a barely lit concept in it. The Genesis V grille and double light bar on that car appear to be on the one in the new teaser. If the cars are the same then classifying it isn't particularly easy. Hyper GT car might be the best way to put it. The lengthy vehicle in the 2022 teaser doesn't look like it's appropriate for any sort of race series. Instead, it looks more like a long-distance cruiser with the front end of a race car, fenders that wrap around the tires closely, and giant ducks on the side of the car. As GT Planet rightly points out, there was a dual dry brake filler on the back of the car indicating that it won't be all electric. We'll find out more on December 2nd, 